Hi, this is Alan from Alan's Lego World. Welcome to my channel. And so far, I'd like to thank those who have subscribed to my channel so far. I pre greatly appreciate the support. I like to get this channel going. But in the meantime, this review of the Lego Star Wars TIE Interceptor, set number 75382. This came out in May 2024. This is the UCS version of the TIE Interceptor. This retails for $230 US and contains 1,931 pieces. Overall, looks is a big boom from the last one. I mean, the first UCS in 2000 was the TIE Interceptor. And celebrate the 25th anniversary of Lego Star Wars. This is part of the commencement sets that commence the anniversary of the, like I said, Lego doing Star Wars. So, was a great proof from last time. And initial looks is this very cool. Like the way it looks is very nice size UCS. It looks like it. Might be to scale with the UCS X-Wing fighter that came out last year. We'll compare the sizes later on in this video. In the meantime, this comes with the TIE Fire Pilot and a mouse droid. And there's a 20th, 20th anniversary logo. And there's the, the TIE with the information. It's a print, no stickers. So there's very few stickers used in the set. It was, they're all found in the cockpit, so they're very easy on there. They're all installed into the set by, by the time you get to step 193. And speaking of step 193, there's a flaw with the stickers. Because the numbers got mixed up on the sticker sheet versus the instructions. But still, just look at the sticker versus what's on instructions, and while being on bone, there you finally got the right sticker. So it's very well detailed. Like right here, is still at the shovels used in the in the last one, and using this one as well. And I like that I use Lego train wheel to represent part of the Titan Interceptor. And go to back again. It's very well detailed. For last time, I like how they got the exhaust point. On here, then all the finer details of this set works out perfectly. And then you got the door of the copy go up on top. Then you go inside, you got the details very well put together. All right, can we just focus a little bit here? It's challenging to see here, so let me go light my light. For a closer look and some more better lighting here. Oh yes, right here, got the seat, got all the control panels, they got the steering and the target, which is targeting the next, an unlucky X-Wing fighter, fighter. Then, we got another more, let's see. Do two more stickers there and there, too bad you can't see them close unless you break this down a little bit. But yeah, the, the workings of the cockpit perfectly put together, all the stickers and the seat, no, no, no control handles, everything was all fine. And the wings were fine, they balanced out. With the set. And not only that. I'll subscribe to you in this. Uh, so right now. the This is a repetitive build. And there's a way of getting this done faster. Okay. And one of the things about the tire receptor. And some other vehicles. And some sets. You, you have some. Repetitive builds here, like say, you're doing these wings four times, one in one direction, one in the other, and you do it again on one on this side, one on that side. You have some repetitive builds in front and back. What I like to do with this is 
go double, build two at a time if I can. They say this bag and everything, so they start building the top half right here. That's when they start building top half right here. So that's what I do, like double up, and so you save some, some time as well. But if you really want to enjoy the build process, go ahead and go one bag at a time. This is also a good advantage for the big sets. If you can have a practice of confidence, you can do two at a time. So this is the time lapse of these next two bags here of putting those together. Okay, so you see here, I, I've completed bags 19 and 21. So this one being the 19, this will mean 21. So I prioritize, I might build, 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 build this one first and build this one second. All the exact same way, same parts, just opposite direction. This will allow me to save time later on down the road, so I'll look at the same instructions twice for this. And yes, I do have a full-time job and sometimes I only get a couple hours a day to build Lego and, and I really wanna get something done. Yeah, I wanna get something done. So this is what I have to do for like big sets like this or even small sets if you're confident enough. If you're super confident, you can do it with Tekken sets, but Tekken sets more, it's more challenging than brick build sets because Tekken sets, build might be in the same direction, but the pins could be different, so. And with technique, you can make one little mistake, you're just going back a whole bunch of steps. This one, as long as you don't make mistakes, this is, go, this is be so much smoother to finish here. So, as you've seen in the time ends video, went this, 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 this. And then, when I finish these, this is saving some. Time is then you look at the charts again for the opposite side. That way you're going one one step, two things. And again, this will save you time. If you're confident enough to do this, you get it right. Okay, now I have gone over how to do the pet bills in a more efficient way. Then the things been right here. In here, so and then they're steady, and they're pretty much steady together. You have to be careful how you handle this because it's fragile, yeah, like that. It's 
Fries are right here in the center. It was only held by, it's held by a few pieces. So you gotta be careful how you handle this. So that way, it doesn't fall apart on you. They do try to switch, you gotta handle it from right here. It's the most efficient, efficient way of handling this tire interceptor. And during the build process, this came out a few times while I was putting the wings together. I think instead of doing this, doing this in the middle, they should have done this at the end when it was all done. That's the only downside of this part right here. I always stand myself with cool. This is the slip of the TIE fire pilot and the Mastroid. Mastroid seems to be oversized. But it's Lego, so it is what it is. Then they did the blasters more accurately. Got the two on this side, represented by the minifigure blaster and these pieces here. And two on this side and two on this side. That's all the sales. There's four blasters. It's supposed to be more advanced TIE fighter. However, the Galactic Empire was. May as well faster, but still, according to the background, minimal amount of protection because of the strength in numbers, so it's like a few pilots mean nothing to them. As long as they can win the battle, that's all the Empire care about. So it's like, no hyperdrive, no shields, nothing. And of course, with me doing the uh, Opposite size for those in the 2x, but opposite directions. While I was doing the the pet, this way I can be more efficient to do the pet build in the time lapse. The wings consist of 322 steps, but since I did two at a time, it takes me 161 steps. Because this set consists of 581 steps, so this doesn't make sense. So it's like. I said earlier, you can find a way to save time, do it. Main time for us, but as I do like to point out the window right here, this is one piece. This is very well detailed. This is a very fine print. I like that how this works out, so as you can see the inside of the cockpit from here. So, I'm going to take this to my Lego room. I'm going to see how this compares to the UCS X Wing. Then we'll talk about pricing and everything else. Okay, now that I've displayed the tiny intercept in the Lego room, we do a little size comparison. Overall, it's accurate, or it might be a little bit off, depends how you look at it. Compared to the tiny to the X Wing, both are angled up in the air. A little bit nice if you can. Angle these to where you want them to be at, but you know it is what it is. Look at the scale. It's scaled pretty much close to accuracy between the two the two fire ships. So, and now let's talk about pricing on this. Pricing was two hundred and thirty dollars. Again, retails for that price in the U.S. The piece count was one thousand nine hundred thirty-one. Pieces and I think it's fair value because this is a licensed product, it's Star Wars, so and it's the anniversary, so I think the price is fair. So you gotta deal with it, and again, you can always get a discount or wait for somebody to sell you on eBay. In the meantime, overall, look, this barrel put together is. Then it shows that Lego's from a far away from year 2000 when the first UCS came out, the Titan Interceptor. So Lego came a long way. And from, the, from my research, the first Titan Interceptor was the first time they used an element that was used for other than for the original purpose, like the shovel. It was used supposed to be a shovel. For me, for example, they use this for the flaps there. And it works, so it's like, they show you can use elements in a different way. As long as the build is legal, anything's possible.
So overall, I like it. It was a very simple build. Again, if you're good at doing uh, doing two X, three X types of builds, go for it. And that's the way you get something done faster and more efficiently. Especially if you're all, if you're sometimes tight on time and want to get something done. Like sometimes I be tight on time because I have a work schedule myself, so I work a full time job, and I want to get this done in time for the review. I do enjoy the build. This is very fun but challenging build, so I like it. And I hope if you buy it, you like the set too. And best way to display this is display this next to the X-Wing fighter. Yeah, Empire vs. Rebels. Perfect. I mean, the X-Wing fighter doesn't have to be Luke Skywalker, it could be anybody's X-Wing fighter. Because... X-Wing Fighters were involved in Battle Endor as well as the Titan Interceptor, so. Well, on that note, I thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. So I can put more content. And have a great day.